Hey everyone, another week has passed uh, here in Sesame Street, now nah, just messing with you, on Denkogo Street, uh, where we were fighting not the cookie monster but the market monster. In this uh, weekly newsletter video, I would like to present you what our team did throughout the last week, uh, how our trades and trading plans worked out, and what we have provided you with. So watch closely. First of all, I want to say that we are still working on our official, official website. Uh, we are almost done with it, just touching up some final details, so it would be perfect for you. Also, I promised you to provide you with a promo video for the challenge. I'm sorry that uh, I haven't finished that promise yet, but again, I'm working on it and I'm trying to make it as perfect as possible. Now we are going to review what each team member did throughout the week and I'm going to tell you about a uh, misunderstanding and a challenge uh, me and Valentine took regarding the US soil, so stay focused and listen closely. Starting off with Valentine, he provided you with a long-term trading plan on the FTSE 100 index, uh, which didn't start perfectly, but it uh, retraced back into his buy zone and he also posted a live sign on it. You're seeing the plan currently on the screens and uh, you can check his live sign on our official Twitter page. He also provided you with a short-term trading plan on the Nasdaq, which unfortunately did not work out and no trades were taken on it. And finally, uh, he gave you a nice tip on the nature of gas, which after a strong correction went into a consolidation period and our expectations and mainly his was for the nature of gas to make a new wave up, which he did. And you can see on the screen how strong that move was. Uh, we do hope you caught up on that. Sevuot, our social manager, continues to do a perfect job in uh, fixing our articles and our videos and presenting them to you. All those YouTube tags, uh, Twitter hashtags, uh, mistakes. Uh, he, it is not an easy, easy job. Uh, but so far he is doing it perfectly. Also, uh, soon enough he'll show you his skills with Adobe Premiere and he'll make our videos even more interesting. I, on the other hand, has provided you with a long-term trading plan uh, based on the Great British Pound Australian dollar currency pair, which uh, throughout the last week basically stayed on one spot, but uh, with the beginning of the new week, we have a move on it and throughout the week I assume we'll have opportunities for entry so I'll share with you some live signals based on it. Uh, currently you're seeing the plan on your screens. Uh, we'll wait, uh, there is a chance for 300 pips of profit so stay tuned for that. And also uh, the other thing I shared with you is an article uh, which states three unorthodox trading techniques so I've put my heart in it, uh, read it up, it can really either uh, help you understand some things you didn't know about the markets or it can be a good addition to your trading strategy that can bring you more profits. And finally about the one-on-one -on -one challenge we took uh, with Valentin uh, it was regarding the US crude oil and his position on the uh, commodity was strictly bullish, mine was bearish. So we decided that we'll both do a trading plan, a long-term trading plan on it and see who was right. You can check our plans and the current market situation in our readable newsletter, uh, which you can um, view through the link below this video. Also there you learn more uh, details regarding everything I talked here today. So that's it folks. I'll see you next week. I wish everyone a profitable week of trading.